What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a Q&A. So I put up a post a couple days ago asking for you guys to send in some questions as I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to my reptiles as well as I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to my weight loss transformation slash fitness journey. So if you haven't watched that video already, I basically posted a video um, you know, showing my before and after the whole entire process of losing a hundred pounds. So it's been a whole entire year since I basically been working out, been taking care of myself a lot more. And in total, I have lost over a hundred pounds. And I think that has caused a lot of people to be like, whoa, like, how'd you do it? What's going on? How could I get started? Um, as I always tell people that it was actually pretty easy to to do so I'm going to be answering the questions that you guys have um, I'm probably gonna be doing two separate videos I'm gonna be doing one just for a Q&A for my animals and just a Q&A for fitness so in the comment section down below let me know more questions that you guys may have and I will answer it in one of these videos as well and if you're subscribed to this channel and you're like you know what I, I'm not into fitness like I don't want to watch no workout videos and stuff like what is this I want to see some reptiles don't worry I got a couple videos that I already have in the works that I'm gonna be posting up this week as well um, it's actually some funny ones too so stick around for those ones um, and if you want to watch some fitness only related content head over to um, Lord Fitness my new fitness channel that I started um, with my brother uh, and we're gonna be making some amazing fitness content on that channel as well So with that being said, let's just get started with this Q&A. Let's go Okay, so question number one. How long into your journey did you notice results? Keep up the hard work so like I mentioned earlier, I've been working out and training and been dieting for probably a year now now I didn't start seeing results maybe a couple months in, I would say, um, and mainly because losing two, three, four, five, maybe even 10 pounds, you don't really notice too much. And that's why taking progress pictures are so important as well, because when you're in the zone of working out and um, eating healthy, you may not think that you're seeing results, but most of the times you are. And for me, I started to see a lot of weight loss happen on my back first. So imagine me looking in the mirror being like, I'm not losing any weight, like what is going on? Meanwhile, my back is going at it and I'm losing weight like on the back. Um, that's the one thing that I learned about weight loss as well is that your body is gonna lose weight in different patterns. It's not just gonna lose weight all together. Some days it starts losing weight on your back, on your midsection, on your chest, on your shoulders. Um, and those places that still hold on fat, like my midsection, um, is still holding on to some bit of weight. And that's just some stubborn fat that I'm still working on losing. So don't get too discouraged if you don't notice complete weight loss um, right away. Uh, take your time with it is the number one thing. You wanna create good habits, and that was the one thing that I wanted to do, was just create good habits uh, along the whole entire journey. So, how long did it take for me to see results? I would say, I would say within a month or two, I was already starting to see clothes was fitting me better. I started to already see a little bit slim, like when I look at the mirror, I'm like, God damn. I've been looking kind of juicy lately. <laughs> I don't know why I use the word juicy. Why do I even have that in my vocabulary to describe another person or myself? <laughs> but that that's what I would have to say is, uh, <laughs> you know, take your time with any kind of diet, any kind of uh, fitness journey, take your time with it. Um, it took me probably a couple months before I actually started to see some results. All right, so this, so this comment, this question goes, you look great. You looked great before, but you definitely glowing up. I, I appreciate the compliments. You guys have been super, super nice when it comes to the compliments. I, I truly appreciate it. Um, but honestly, like I feel amazing now and I felt amazing then. I just feel a lot more healthier. So I guess I'm, I guess I'm glowing. <laughs> okay, so the question basically uh, goes, let me go to it. 
I guess one question would be, does the food you ingest on your workout journey really matter or is it fitness exercise that matters more? Okay, so this is a very important question. I would say a good balance, a good mixture of both. So why do I say that? Fitness and you know working out and everything is very important. You know, it's good for your cardiovascular system as well as it's good for building muscle. So for me, I wanted to, you know, fill out some shirts, you know, I wanted to be able to see my triceps. I wanted to be able to, you know, look in the mirror and be like, God damn, it must be illegal to own these. <laughs> But I want it to feel strong is the number one thing, right? So exercising and having a workout routine definitely helped me achieve that goal. I wanted to be able to do pull-ups. I wanted to be able to run and not feel exhausted. So I feel like an athlete now and working out definitely made me feel strong. Now when it came down to weight loss, although exercising is important and you know, it burns calories and it, and it does burn a little bit of fat from time to time. If you're eating like crazy and you're just not really focused on what you're eating and you're eating pizza, donuts, all of these things, you know, too much of it, you're going to gain weight and vice versa. If you're eating too little of it, you're going to lose weight. <laughs> but basically what I was saying was that Having a good diet, having a good meal prep routine definitely helped me lose the weight. So everyone keeps asking, how did you lose the weight? Like, what'd you do? Like, how is it like that you lost 100 pounds in a year? Like, that's crazy. That's literally like a whole entire human. <laughs> but how I did it was that I was eating the foods that I love to eat. So if I was, you know, hungry and I wanted sushi, if I wanted pizza, if I wanted shawarma, I would eat it. I wouldn't restrict myself from any of those foods because at the end of the day, what I wanted to do was build healthy relationships with food and healthy habits around food. Um, before, I was kind of on a diet where I would just eat anything until I felt full and even when I felt full, I might still eat more and that would just cause me to gain weight. Um, and you know, a lot of us have food as our coping mechanism to stress and for me I definitely had food as a way to cope with certain things so whenever I felt stress I might find myself eating a lot more or whenever I felt um, you know happy I would celebrate and eat a lot more so food was definitely a big thing in my life that uh, you know using it for celebrating and using it for coping with stress and stuff so what I found was finding a way to build healthy relationships um, with food as well as finding ways that I could cope with stress that is not going to be harming my body by me eating a bunch of food and just you know becoming unhealthy so that's the number one thing I want to promote um, is anyone out there who's trying to lose weight you know focus on being happy regardless right yeah you might be a little bit happier losing the weight and everything but if you don't focus on your happiness right now Whatever stage of life you're in, you're not gonna be happy later on in life, even when you lose the weight. So definitely focus on that self-love, that self-appreciation, and you're gonna do amazing. All right, next question. You're doing amazing. I was wondering what foods and stuff you were eating cause I've lost 100 pounds. Oh damn, you've lost 100 pounds too? Man, congratulations. <laughs> I want to stay this way, so I'm wondering what would be the best to eat to keep my body frame. I have a very high metabolism, but still don't know what to eat, uh, but still don't want to eat unhealthy. So I'm just curious what your diet was. Okay, so it's probably a question that a lot of people ask, uh, you know, what did you eat and everything? And I did post a video on my fitness uh you know, channel, which link is in the description uh, of basically what I ate in a day. And what I tell people is that I basically had a flexible approach when it came down to my diet. So I was eating anything I wanted to eat. And this may be like, what, what do you mean anything? <laughs> like it always gets people uh, as to what do you mean you ate anything you wanted to eat? Um, at the end of the day, what I've learned was that there's really no such thing as these bad foods. It's just we sometimes overeat these unhealthy foods. So for me, what I found was that 
Having more of a flexible approach allowed me to build healthy relationships with these foods and I wouldn't overeat them. So if I wanted to basically have a cookie, I would eat a cookie. If I wanted to have a donut, I'll eat a donut. Um, <laughs> All I basically was doing was I was tracking my calories. So I basically had a budget. That's how I basically viewed it was that I had a budget for my day. So for me, it was about 2000 calories. So anything that I could fit within that range, I would basically eat. Now, I was also tracking my macros, which, you know, I was tracking my protein my fat and my carbs and I was using my fitness pal and it may sound a little bit tedious to do but now it's become a routine where I could kind of eyeball it and be like okay this is like this is probably 2,000 grams this is about 50 grams of protein um, even though I still track but it allowed me to have more of a structure base when it came down to meal prepping so when I would cook food for you know work I would have everything basically planned out. I punch it into my fitness pal, and now I basically could make those adjustments where I'm like, you know what? I wanna have a donut today. Let me not eat these potatoes and have this donut instead. Now, I wouldn't do that too often because what I found was that the donut um, wasn't as filling as these beautiful baked potatoes. Um, so I wouldn't have that those moments, but I would have donuts or cookies included in my diet that way I'm not you know having these binging moments where I'm eating donuts and eating cookies um, because I'm so restricted and I can't have those foods um, and that's the one thing that I've learned about all these other diets is although they're great um, they're super restricted in one way in particular so best way to answer this question is figure out what is working best for you and maintain it and build those healthy habits and if you end up eating you know these unhealthy foods don't feel bad about yourself you know enjoy your life be happy and uh, have more of a foundation place so um, and that was the number one thing too was if I had one of those moments where I slipped up and I ate way too much over my calories or ate way too much food the next day I would just bounce back and pretend like nothing happened and I would just continue eating how I was eating before and eating healthy and that's how I was able to lose weight it's just consistency so next question I really need an answer to this question I've lost seven pounds that's amazing congratulations and getting compliments see that's the best part right like when people start noticing they're like damn I see you I see you with that jawline and everything <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting compliments however my biggest downfall is late night munchies and that's what's putting the pounds back on what do you suggest for those late night munchies so like I mentioned before was that for me having a flexible approach I would include snacks and having you know food for those late night munchies as well because that's something that you know, gets me too so I would plan ahead um, as well as be mindful of you know maybe you're dehydrated maybe you didn't eat enough protein in that day of why you're still hungry so late at night so for me one thing I noticed was that whenever I would have my carbs or foods that were too light like let's say for instance I was like you know what? I don't want to have baked potatoes I want to have some donuts instead um, and I'll eat the donuts they're just way too light in my system and later on in the day I'll be hungry so what I found was that having you know baked potatoes or having foods that are more filling throughout the day I'm not as hungry later on in the night as well as the same thing goes for hydration we sometimes you know don't drink enough water and that's why we're so hungry um, so how do you go about these late night munchies is just build better habits for later on in the day so for me i would structure my meals that way i could have some snacks later on in the day or have a bigger dinner that way i'm not hungry later on in the day next question did you still have delicious chicken shawarma while working out 
What do you think? Hell yeah! Like, you really think I was gonna give up shawarmas? <laughs> Honestly, like, I'd probably have chicken shawarmas probably once or twice a week. Still, even, even losing weight. Um, but the number one thing, like I said, was that I was tracking my calories. So within, you know, allowing uh, myself to eat shawarmas, as long as they fit in my calories, it was okay. So having shawarmas every single day, like before, like how I used to eat, was not the healthiest way to do it. Um, and if you kind of look at even what I was eating before, I was having, let's say, two chicken shawarmas. I was eating lavishly. Some french fries and a soda. Ooh, like those four combinations, it may not sound like a lot, but if you think about it, I was eating all four of those things and probably having dinner and having snacks later on in the day too. So eating all of that food was, you know, reason why I was gaining weight as well. And I wouldn't eat shawarmas every single day, but I was definitely eating, you know, out and eating other foods and not eating healthy whatsoever. But now, instead of having two chicken shawarmas, I'll have one chicken shawarma. I know it's kind of sad. <laughs> I might have the french fries and if I'm having a drink it might be a diet coke or just be water. So I'm still eating what I love to eat. I'm just eating less of it. So that's the number one thing that I also want to promote is that there is no such thing as unhealthy foods and we shouldn't restrict ourselves from the things that we love as well. So if you want to eat shawarmas include them in your diet and figure out a way that those uh, foods could fit in your macros or in your calories or in your diet as well so you know that was the number one habit change instead of eating two chicken shawarmas i was now eating one. Oh man you know how hard that was like imagine you're so used to eating two delicious shawarmas and the reason why i'll eat two is because i'll eat the one right i'll be like oh geez like this is so delicious like oh man Jeez, it's like, you know, it's like I'm in my zone. And when it's over, I'm like, I got another one? Oh, God damn. Oh, what? Jeez, wait. Okay, don't close your eyes when I do that. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? Like, I guess two is always better than one. I don't know. Like, I, it was just better. Like, it just, it, it, it felt, I felt like a, a kid again. <laughs> All right, next question. Cocaine is one hell of a drug. <laughs> I'm like, geez, that's a bold statement right there. Jeez Louise, don't do drugs, kids, okay? Holy snap. <laughs> Just joking. But was getting worried about you and Austin getting super skinny, losing all the weight so fast, but I'm glad it's due to working out. Like, what else would it be? Like, what? What? <laughs> no, but, uh,. Honestly, no, we weren't doing any drugs. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, you guys must be doing some extreme workouts to get those results so fast. You should do a video on your workout regimen because I gained a bunch of weight and could use some help getting it off. So let us know what your guy's secret is. So if you guys don't know Austin, he's my boy. We've been working out lately. Um, he's also been, you know, working out, getting nice and lean and stuff. But we are not doing any extreme workouts. That's the crazy part is for me, at least when it came down to losing weight, um, oftentimes I get asked, you know, you must have done like a ton of cardio, like, holy snap, how'd you lose the weight? And I'll tell everyone, like, I hate running. Like, I didn't even run to lose the weight. I, I didn't even run once, I think. Um, from time to time, I did go and walk up and down these huge stairs that are near my house. Uh, just because in the past, that's what I used to do in basketball, um, was that we used to run stairs and I enjoyed it. So I wanted to do something that I enjoyed. I know it's crazy. You enjoy running stairs. Like who does that? You're a psychopath. <laughs> but I actually enjoy running stairs. So that's why I would include it in my workouts. But I don't like running. Like imagine going for a run being 300 pounds and just like like i think it doesn't work like my joints will be hurting my chest will be hurting like i would feel like i'm dying my body be jiggling <laughs> like i don't i i would feel so uncomfortable doing that so why would i want to run right like i'm at, like no like i don't want to <laughs> i don't want the neighbors to get scared <laughs>
<laughs> so for me, I, I didn't like running. So what I would do is actually just go for a 15 minute walk every single day um, and work out for about 30 minutes. And now I've worked up to being able to work out for about an hour to an hour and a half. Um, and I work out with my brother as well as now I work out with my boy Austin and some friends too. So to basically answer what it was the secret, it was consistency. So having consistency every single day of having some sort of workout routine, but also consistency with your nutrition and how you were eating and building those healthy food habits. Cause like I said, sometimes we overeat just because it tastes good and um, that's how I gained the weight as well was that, you know, instead of having one chicken shawarma, some fries and a drink, I'll have two shawarmas, sometimes even three <laughs> in one sitting. I know it's crazy and it's just because it tastes good and I'm a bigger guy so I need more food is what I would think. But now being more mindful of what I'm eating, I'm able to still enjoy anything I want to eat but just have better portions of it all. So no extreme workouts no extreme drugs holy snap jeez <laughs> and uh no extreme cardio no extreme diets is basically how i approach this whole entire weight loss journey and like i said if you want to see more videos go head over to my fitness channel little shameless plug each time you see that that's how we get subscribers man be sure to subscribe like share and <laughs> What is one thing that has changed ever since you lost a hundred pounds? Okay, so I'm actually planning on doing a video just around this because there's a lot of things that changed, not only just my appearance, but there's a lot of things that has changed ever since losing a hundred pounds. So I'm definitely gonna be posting a video, maybe 10 things or five things that has changed. Um, but Number one thing, I'm gonna give you one that's kind of weird. But one thing that has changed, the one weird thing, is my ear hole has gotten bigger. <laughs> okay, when you put it, that should be like the title for the next video. <laughs> oh my God. I know my friend Benton, if he's watching this, he's gonna be clipping that so much. But my ear hole has gotten bigger. So what do you mean by that, okay? Let me, let me just clear the room, man. Let me just clarify this, okay? When you're losing weight, you know, you're losing fat everywhere. One thing that I noticed was that I was losing weight inside of my ear. And how did I figure that out? So I have these headphones, I don't have them with me, but I had these headphones that when I was 300 pounds, I would wear to work out and I would go and, you know, go for walks and everything. And I stopped wearing them for a period of time. So I was like, I'm not going to wear them, whatever. Like I got these over the ear, ear um, headphones that I'm going to just be wearing instead. Um, so I stopped wearing them for a period of time. So a couple months passed by, I lost a lot of weight. I lost a hundred pounds and I'm like putting them back on and they don't fit. And the only thing that I could wrap my head around was I lost weight inside of my ears. So technically my ear hole got bigger. <laughs> oh my God. I, oh man, I'm telling you. There's other weird stuff that has definitely has changed, but that was one thing that I noticed was like, I, I'm like, this is weird. Oh, another weird thing. Oh man, see, you can, you guys, you know what? I'm gonna keep, keep it all a secret. You definitely need to go head over to that channel and check it out. Oh man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I thought I would just come and basically give you guys a Q&A. It's been a while since I've done it. And even though this one was more of a fitness related one, I think I pretty much, um, you know, covered a couple of things that you guys were asking. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing a Q&A for just reptile related stuff. So if you have more questions, let me know in the comment section down below and that way I could answer it in another q a it could be fitness related it could be anything related relationships it could be um you know animal related let me know in the comment section down below and definitely go ahead over to uh, my fitness channel and i'm going to be posting uh probably five weird things that has changed or has happened ever since i lost 100 pounds um i think it'll be a pretty funny video uh, i just 
pretty much thought of it while I was basically recording this video so I'm definitely gonna go work on it right away and post it probably around the same time that you guys are watching this video so go check out that so, channel as so well but with that being said so I'm Lord Ryan keep the blood pumping so and I'll here see you guys in here my go. next video you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you gotta hit 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 it right hit 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 all night hit 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 it right hit 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 all night you gotta hit